morning, but we have showers rolling in from the Gulf of Mexico, showers coming in from the Atlantic, from the Caribbean, so very soggy, especially for the southern half of Florida. We're talking rain down from the Keys all the way as far north as a treasure coast this morning with a few spotty showers rolling in. Look at the motion of this moisture. It's going from east to westward, so we are going to watch the potential for some morning showers, especially across southern portions of Palm Beach County this morning. So a few light showers that we have working their way across Palm Beach Gardens towards Jupiter Farms, Wellington, some light shower activity to your north and I am watching these showers right here developing to get ready Boca all the way up to Delray Beach. If you're heading out this morning, grab your umbrella. But later on today, we have the potential with daytime heating to see some very strong thunderstorms developing later on. But here's our weather system that we're waiting for. So this will eventually work its way off to the east and give us a chance to see some strong storms as well. So this is really going to set us up for the atmosphere to see storms developing and some of those storms could be on the severe side. Right now, though, this uh, system is really just packing the punch across South Louisiana. Squall line ahead of it. That's producing winds up to 45, 60 miles per hour already. So as the system continues to advance off to the east, we're going to see our conditions decline. Late afternoon hours where we'll have the chance for a few strong thunderstorms overnight and into your early Wednesday morning. That's round one. Round two will be ahead of the cold front, and that'll work its way in mid-Wednesday throughout the evening hours. So this is also going to help contribute to some scattered thunderstorm activity where some of those storms can be on the strong end as well. But behind it, we'll see some drier conditions, at least for the first half of your St. Patrick's Day on Thursday. So it's not going to be an all-day rain event for your Tuesday and Wednesday, but we are going to notice an increase in that moisture throughout the day. Now, we do have the potential for a marginal risk, which is one out of five on the scale. So that means an isolated strong storm still possible for the Treasure Coast, Okeechobee County, and even for South Florida as we go throughout your later second half of the day today. So that's why we're declaring it a first warning weather day so you can prepare for the fact that we have the potential for those stronger storms later on. So some of these storms can produce winds anywhere between 45 up to the 50 range can even see some small hail with these thunderstorms. Isolated tornado on the lower end of our risk scale, but we can't rule out seeing maybe a spin-up or even a funnel cloud in the sky. But since the grounds are already saturated from the rain we've had over the weekend, we could still see some localized street flooding in some neighborhoods if we get rain training over the same location. So those are your major threats for today. Again, the highest being some strong wind gusts at times. So here's what we have a little bit locally. We have those light showers, as I mentioned, rolling in from the Atlantic this morning as we hit those mid-afternoon hours. Again, and we have the potential to see a few isolated thunderstorms developing. And then the late second half of the day, we'll watch out for the chance for those stronger storms developing on the western half of Lake Okeechobee, eventually advancing to the east. So biggest threats, mainly I'm thinking Okeechobee County, also for the Treasure Coast. That'll be for your late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday late afternoon, here's what we're talking about. Some more storms developing inland, pushing off to the east. So that's going to be a little bit more coverage across our area. So that's where we're still expecting to see the chance for that very heavy rainfall for frequent lightning and strong wind gusts within some of these thunderstorms. As we head throughout your early Thursday morning, though, we do clear things out and we should see maybe just a few lingering showers here and there, but it's not going to be as intense as what we're expecting for today and for tomorrow. Right now, though, waking up to some clouds and passing showers, temperatures in the 70s, little breeze out of the northeast at around 15 miles per hour. But uh, overall, we're going to see those temperatures still reaching right around the low 80s for today. First morning weather day, again, looking for the potential for some strong storms for your Wednesday. Then we do dry things out a little bit for your Thursday, but another cold front increasing our rain chances by next Saturday.